What's up, GK family? It's Jay O'Shley here. I hope you're doing awesome today. Hope you have a great weekend, no matter what you're doing. And I hope to see you this Sunday morning as we learn about the next chapter of Acts. In Acts 15, the church leaders met in Jerusalem to answer a tough question. Can a person be saved by faith alone, or is something more needed? The early church agreed that because of Jesus' death and resurrection, he alone is all we need to be saved. As they were meeting, a discussion broke out among them. It says in Acts 15, 7 through 11, Brothers, you know that some time ago, God made a choice among you that the Gentiles might hear from my lips the message of the gospel and believe. God, who knows the heart, showed that he accepted them by giving the Holy Spirit to them just as he did to us. He did not discriminate between us and them, for he purified their hearts by faith. Now then, why do you try to test God by putting on the necks of Gentiles a yoke that neither we nor our ancestors have been able to bear? Check this out in verse 11. No, we believe it is through the grace of our Lord Jesus that we are saved, just as they are. Essentially, Jews and Gentiles have the same way to God's grace, through Jesus Christ. And it doesn't matter if we're a Jew or a Gentile. God's grace is for all through his Son. That's amazing! And it truly means that the good news is for everyone. Guess what? This Sunday is Move Up Sunday. So whatever grade you were in for this school year, you're now in the next one. And remember, if you were in fifth grade last week, you're now in middle school that meets on Wednesday night. We'll talk to you guys soon. See ya.